Hey everyone, this is Nemo and in today's quick tip, we will see how to customize URLs in PrestaShop. This is kind of a knowledge based video, so it's going to be particularly useful if you're a newcomer to PrestaShop or never tried modifying URLs of your store. So let's get to it. I'm in the back office and I will reach preferences, SEO and URLs. This is the page that controls all URL structures as well as meta titles and descriptions for all generic pages. With generic I mean that are not a specific item with an ID such as say a specific product or category or even CMS page for instance. As you can see the first table that we have lets us set up the meta. So let's uh, try editing for example the best sales one. And first off we have a drop down with the page selection. This represents a page created with a single controller of the shop, uh, be it a base controller such as this one best sales or uh, generated with the module. Then we can choose uh, the page title which is the meta title, description and keywords. Although keywords can be really ignored since they're not used anymore. And then we have the rewritten uh, or friendly URL. This is the last part of the URL that people will see in the address bar when reaching your page. Let's see it practically. So in the front office I have my best sales page here and you can see the last part is best dash sales which is what we have here. This aspect can also be important for SEO so if you want your best sales page URL to say contain some string related to your business then this is the perfect spot where to add your keyword. So let's pretend I sell shoes. I might want to call this page uh, say best shoes uh, of 2016. Why not? And this might actually match uh, any search on Google and improve your ranking. Why not? So now let's go back and see some other options. Scrolling past the table we can set up the main URL options. By default PrestaShop automatically activates friendly URLs and we just saw their structure uh, with uh, say easy to understand and significant names but there is a chance your server does not support uh, mod rewrite. In this case I strongly suggest uh, to get it installed or uh, if not mod, mod rewrite anything equivalent to it so you can take full, take full advantage of PrestaShop's SEO features. I also suggest letting accented URLs turn off and disabling Apache mode security module since this might cause uh, some conflicts uh, at times with PrestaShop features. So I will save the settings now. Then in the next box we can set up the shop's uh, URL and keep this in mind whenever you change your shop's domain or location in your domain like when for example creating development versions of the site you will have to come here and in this case my website is located in my local host um, colon 8080 the subfolder is 1615 so uh, this is how it's been set up automatically if I were to change the folder I should uh, have come here and change this setting as well Lastly, if you need to get more specific on the URL structure for items that have uh, an ID, we got an advanced configuration form here. Let me just make some more room since I shrunk the window before. So let's just, okay, increase the size a bit. Now, what can we do here? First off, if you're not sure of what you're doing just let things as they are since uh, things can really mess up uh, if you change uh, the settings in a not so proper way. So what we can do here is define routes to each item of the store. So products, categories, manufacturers, suppliers, CMS and whatever. Let's take products as an example. So the default route to product is category slash ID dash the rewrite for each product dash eventually the EAN13 field dot HTML. 
Let's see how this translates to a real URL. So I will reach, say, my blouse product and have a look at the address bar here. The product specific part comes after EN, which is the language ISO. So it's blouses, which is the default category's name, slash two, which is the product ID, dash the product's friendly URL. And this can easily be set up from the SEO tab of each product in the back office, dot HTML. I want to change this. I want all of the category structure in the URL and I don't like the HTML part at the end. So let me change this. I will change category to categories and then I will remove HTML at the end. Okay, so I will save. Now I'll go back and I'll refresh. Oh, 404. Well, yeah, sadly, if you change the URL structure like this, PrestaShop will not be able to automatically redirect to the new uh, URL. So be careful when you do that. In case you do, make sure you, and uh, the product was indexed on whatever, uh, make sure you write 301 redirects to the new structure. And to find it, I will just go back to my homepage and click on my blouse again. And there it is. So you can see the URL is different now. It's reading uh, the category structure for the blouses category, so with all parents, and doesn't have HTML at the end. If you're wondering how to remove that ID, so this two thing here, well, sadly you can't. Um, you will need a third party module to do this, such as um, my SEO booster ultimate or SEO URLs. Getting back to the admin panel, we have fields to a set of routes, say for CMS pages and others as well, as I said. Uh, the CMS is reading content slash ID dash rewrite. So yeah, it's also possible to set a static string in the URL, but unfortunately, this is not multi-language enabled. So, if you have a French and English website, you will have, in this case, content slash for both. Again, if you need more flexibility, you can check out those two modules of mine uh, I just mentioned at store.animoPS.com and I am also leaving a link in the video description uh, in case you're interested. Also, make sure that these entities do not have the very same structure. So you cannot use ID dash rewrite for both categories and products since this will drive to uh, 404 pages or simply mix up the pages and uh, some of them will never be accessed by your customers. As a very last mention, keep in mind that you can change the specific friendly URL for each product, as I said, from each product page, and for other entities, stands the same. So a category, configuration for categories, and uh, the same for manufacturers and CMS pages and so on. Okay, this is everything for today's video, and if you're looking for the best hosting for your shop, I recommend checking out a2hosting.com where you can find the best value packages to host your PrestaShop website. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.